What's up guys? Text to a video. I want to talk to you about the 14.7 inch BCM Cold Hammer Forged Upper. I like BCM, always have. It's a very duty grade stuff and I didn't really see a lot on this upper so I was like hey I want it. Hey I got a YouTube channel. Let's put it on there and see what it's all about for people. Uh, it's got a nice interlocking system for the rail. It's fairly light. I mean the overall system itself uh, ends up being pretty good even though I've got a flashlight on here. Holosun 510C. Don't need backups yet. I did uh, utilize the uh, ADAC lower full ambi uh, from Radian and then that caused me to use the Radian charging handle and bolt carrier group because I couldn't find a BCM bolt carrier group at the moment. Radian's just as good. So I did that. I uh, got this thing dialed in just now. I didn't know that my my mount was just a little bit loose throwing me off so I couldn't make any long shots worth it down. So she's still a little warm from that but otherwise she's ready to go. You know, if you guys want to see what she's about I've got a little array of magazines to try. Here's your GI style mag from DNH. You know, so this thing's got everything I could want. It's very well balanced uh, as far as the impulse goes. It's got the longer uh, gas system, so it helps out. You see right here. The follow ups on this thing are just stupid good. Uh, it is pin and welded by yours truly. Right there, got it pinned well over 16 inches, and uh, this is longer than it needed to be, but it's a nice looking brake I got. They're only like 60 bucks or something for that. I found it online. Can't remember where, but I've got two of them. Same thing, it's on the uh, TN01 upper. Uh, you know, it's got a LaRue trigger in this system, and it works very well, as you can see. Uh, the Holosun 510C does have a solar panel, so it utilizes light, and it helps it automatically adjust brightness. Single dot, 65 MOA circle, or a combination of the two like I have, but Otherwise, she's very nice. So the hundred yards right here. What happened there? Oh, did I have a light primer strike? I did. I did have a light primer strike. I don't like that because these are hand loads. Hmm, I wonder if I installed that too deep. I just wonder what was up with that. So I'm not one to like have one of these fail on me. I used up all my good ammo, green tips on other stuff. So whatever. Last bullet missed, locked open. All right, we've got the ETS. Everybody says they're junk. I got them because they take cool pictures. Yeah, round just popped out of it because they're junk. So yeah, right side bolt catch and release on this thing is pretty awesome. Go back up to the 100. Maybe some shots, see 150. Shot earlier. I'm gonna have to check this out and probably send this 510C in. Y'all need to be aware. It's uh like the way it looks, but I've adjusted this thing now three times and I'm losing not holding zero. It's like I can go up and down, and once I go down for elevation or up, I go back the other way of three, four, five clicks before that thing will start moving. So there's something inside of this being a piece of shit. Sadly, it's kind of crapping on my uh quality of life here. She is coming out of this thing 14.7 inches from the Caldwell Shooting Supply chronograph that does have LED. 2688. It's about 2700 feet per second. If these were the green tips, which I might have one to try. Let's see. Let's try one of those. Let's see. Alright, there we go. So I've got one of my hand loads and we'll do a green tip. Hand load. It's going to be a 223 hand load. 2772. Let's see what the green tip does. I'm going to crank up the heat. They're not for accuracy, they're for speed. 
2,950. So yeah, they're a little more aggressive. 14.7 inch barrel on this thing. It's a one and seven twist. There you go. ETS magazine. It's working. And then let's try the Lancer. The Lancer mags. Bolt release on the side. That's a uh, awesome. Love that. So you get a little warm. locked back all right our last magazine due to the great ammo shortage of the zombie apocalypse here i'm not going through tons and tons of ammo like i'd like to do but you still get to see what it does and what it likes for a little while Open. All right, this thing does lock also from the right side. Got your catch on your release, and then you got your release for the catch. Pretty cool deal. Uh, I will do accuracy testing on this thing, but you know, like I said, if you want to see what it looks like and how quick that impulse is on this thing, I'm sure this brake's probably doing me a lot of favors because you know it's obnoxious, but it is, I'm sure, helping recoil the way it's slanted and two port. Uh, I got this mainly for me because I did that 14.7 inch pin and welded from Palmetto State Armory that I had. I uh, did that for the wife. It's got a three port brake on it from, uh, oh Jesus, what is the name of that company? Mass Defense. Uh, I like the way it looked at three port. Didn't want to copy hers exactly, so I found this. I was like, two port, still got the same cool slant to it. And then right here we've got the, uh, getting warm over here. Uh, was it the HLX or whatever? Ow, Jesus. Uh, that's a, uh, on a Odin Works mount with a, of course, a stop right there. So yeah, she's getting hot. What can I say? It's gonna happen. It's got me considering putting some plastic AFGs or uh, shorties on here or something. I don't like nothing gaudy, you know, like big old long full-size grip. It's just dumb to me. Uh, it does come with a QD sling and it even came with this nice fancy hat that I've been wearing when I ordered this. So uh, yeah, it's nice stuff. Uh, yeah, hopefully you like what you see. Like I said the ability for me to like come back up on target when you say I'm blasting these the steel is just incredible, you know. So it's not a very violent thing at all. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend it. I was gonna get the 12.5 inch, but they only had it in penis mod, uh, or I mean a uh, key mod. I didn't want that. I wanted the M lock, so I ended up going with the Cyanix 11 and a half inch. You know, uh, it's cool to change up the brand here and there, right? Cyanix is good stuff. So didn't mind that. I'll get a 12 and a half inch version later, maybe if I feel like it. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, yeah, quick little overview. See how the thing performs. Uh, like I said, impulse is phenomenal. Let me drop that. And let's see. I'm trying to remember. I think I put an H1 buffer in this thing. And just for you guys, I need to make sure. Yep, H buffer. So that's what's in here. If you want to know the combination that I'm running right now. Uh, definitely did not want it to be a 14 and a half inch pistol. So pin and welded. And that's why I have... 14 and a half inch pin and weld the 16 and some change rifle so all right yeah like i said nice little deal uh pay attention to your 510 c's boys i like when stuff like this happens on fi uh, on film so you guys can see it firsthand i've never heard any complaints about these but here i am at 100 yards losing zero for no reason i've adjusted it like i said at least three times that might have been four and now i'm pissed off and gonna have to send it back and have them replace it or something try your equipment before you trust it all right texas 2a video if you haven't liked and subscribed Please do. I will catch you guys next time.